Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. One of the most requested video I've had is how to import, organize, and backup your photos. So I said, why not do a video on that topic? I'll show you how I do it. Uh, tell me how you do it in the comments, but let's get this party started. All right, so here is an SD card where I have some photo shoot of two different locations. One is Iceland and one is Florida, and we're gonna import it into a, a Lightroom Classic catalog that's completely empty. So here we go. I'm gonna put this in my computer. And um, so right now I have a catalog that has nothing, okay? And you can see here that uh, I just put in my SD card. My SD card says Sony on it. I, you have to click on include the subfolders and all the photos that, uh, are selected. So you can see here, there's some stuff from Iceland and there's some stuff from Florida. I on purpose took two different locations because I want to talk about organization. Okay, so first of all, um, make sure you know, uh, you have three parts on import. You have the left part is basically your media, your hard drive, your SD cards. The center is the preview and the right side is where are, am I gonna put these photos? Uh, you can change the size of the thumbnail. I'm not gonna go into everything. I'm really going to what really matters to me. Uh, if you think I forgot something, please tell me in the comments and I read every single comment. I appreciate it. So I got two choices here, copy as a DNG or copy. I'm gonna use copy as a DNG because files are a little, little bit smaller and the idea of DNG is that it's supposed to be a format that's gonna be compatible with everything from now on out. Like in you know 200 years, if your grand-grandson find one of your SD card or find one of your hard drive, it's DNG, he'll be able to read it. That's the, the idea. And files are smaller, so why not, you know? Uh, I'm gonna, I usually always take the option of new photos because new photo just shows you what has not been already imported. Now this is a brand new catalog, so nothing has ever been imported. And, um, Destination folder, uh, destination folder is here, okay? So uh, let's talk about uh, structure and how to organize the shoot. And this is what I recommend. Again, if you have other ideas, leave me in a comment. I use the Drobo 5D3. Um, the reason I use that is I've got lots of photos, terabytes and terabytes. I think I'm like at four or five terabytes. I've got over 400,000 photos. So what I do is I put them on an external drive and that external drive has a, an automatic backup. My rule is that my photos, because I make a living out of it, have to always be in three locations. Three locations. So there is two locations. As soon as I import them on that external drive, because it's got a RAID thing, it duplicates all my photos. So they are there twice, okay? But let's say I lose that hard drive. Um, you know, what do I do? So what I did is I have a special Dropbox. I use Dropbox Unlimited. It's pretty expensive, I think $70 a month. And um, because I've got so much, I, at first I started like $10 a month, $20 a month, and then I just had too much. Now I'm at $70 a month. So I use Dropbox Unlimited. There's maybe other system. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Drobo. I am not sponsored by Dropbox. This is just my solution. Leave me in a comment what is, you know, if you've got better deals than that. So what I do is actually import the photo on my Dropbox, and my Dropbox is located on, on that external hard drive. Why? Because I've got to have two copies on my hard drive, and, I'm, and it's gonna back up in the, in the cloud. So in one import, I've got three backups. And this is uh, what has worked the best for me. Also with Dropbox, I can, uh, sorry, Drobo and Dropbox, a little confusing. Dropbox is the hard drive, Dropbox is the online service. With Dropbox, when I'm in Paris or wherever I travel, if somebody wants to, uh, I have access to all my world file, which is really cool. So um, how does this work? Well, in the Lightroom, when I, when I get to pick the destination, I'm gonna pick that Dropbox folder. You can see it says Search Remedy Dropbox, Search Remedy Photo La Total. La Total means all my photos. So uh, for the sake of this, I'm gonna create, so this is Iceland. So Iceland, the way I've done it, uh, I have did a different system, but what I advise you to do is I'm gonna right click, create a new folder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder called uh, Landscapes, okay? And then I'm, in that folder, I'm gonna create a new folder called Iceland, all right? So, and I'm gonna click on choose. But here is an additional step. So now all the photos goes on my Dropbox. They're gonna go automatically in the sky. They're gonna go automatically on two hard drive. And it's actually one hard drive. So it's called three locations. 
And on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick very important. I love that. This is something I, I, I discovered actually quite recently. I'm going to click on into subfolders and I'm going to choose by date. And what that's going to do is it's going to organize, but you'll see what it's going to do. So I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck my photos. I only want to take my Iceland photos. So I click the first one. I go down. Okay. This is Florida. So the Iceland photo stops here. Sorry. I forgot to click here and here. I click on that. So now I only have my Iceland photo selected. I'm going to click on import. So now it's importing onto the external hard drive, doing a duplication and putting it in the clouds in one operation. So now my photos of Iceland are safe. They're in three locations. My house could burn. I still have it in the clouds or, you know, uh, Dropbox folders could um, disappear. I still have two copies here. You know, it's just a safety. Uh, you know, it's just a rule, three locations. And I'm sure there is, you know, if you don't have, if you don't have, uh, you know, if you don't want to spend too much money, I'm sure you have like free version of Dropbox or other cloud service you can, where, you know, if you don't have that much photo, you've been doing photography for just a year or two, free service might be good enough for you. I just been doing it for too long. And voila, and so check this out. So now I've got a folder. Uh, look what it did. Uh, let me show you in, in the finder. So landscape, Iceland, and then 2020, and I've got three different dates of 2020. That's how it's looking now, okay? And I find this really useful because I can see that because usually a date is a location. So I was on that location that day, I was on that location that day, and I was at that location that day. So now let's import uh, the Florida photo. So we go again, file, import, photos and videos. And we pick the Sony SD card that I inserted. On new photos, I only see the Florida photo, so I don't have to do anything, but I have to choose a different location. So I'm gonna go back down here and I'm gonna go to Photo La Total. I'm gonna right click, create new folder. And now I'm gonna call this uh, USA. Let's say for me, it's not landscape, it's more USA. So I'm gonna create a folder called USA and then a subfolder called Florida, all right? And I'm gonna choose that. And then uh, I'm gonna leave the option by date and click on import. While this is importing, guys, um, can I ask you a huge favor? If you could smash that like button, it means the world to me because it means other people can watch that video. And if for some magical reason you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. I try to do, right now I'm playing a game, don't tell anyone, two videos per week, I'm trying, I'm going, all in on YouTube. So just click the subscribe button. Make sure you have the notification bell so that you get a notification every time I put out a video and you will see it's amazing. One more thing. I created a Lightroom shortcut uh, guide that you can print. The link is under this video. All you have to do is click on the link, put in your first name, last name, make sure the email is right. It's not, you're not gonna get it. And then you go to photosearch.com and in your library, you will have it. And now, okay, now my all my photos of Florida I imported. And then if I look at the structure of uh, what it did, I've got USA, Florida, 2021. And there's only one day there. It's, it's only one shoot. And you can see now, uh, this is how I like things to be organized. Now, when you are here in, in, in Dropbox, you don't see that this is Florida. You can right click and you can say show parent folder. And uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. And you will see now it says uh, Iceland 2020. I can go here, right click, show parent folder, and I can see it says Florida 2021. And this is how I do it. So this is how I import it. And, um, and voila, it's really simple. This is how organized and this is how I back up. Now tell me how you do it. Leave me in a comment. I'm curious to know if you know like, uh, you know, less expensive services than Dropbox because $70 a month is expensive, but I got 13 terabytes, 13 terabytes of photography up in Dropbox for $70, I think it's pretty pretty cool. Uh, and um, yeah, just tell me what you think. And uh, don't forget to get my Lightroom shortcut. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of goodies also for you for free if you click the link under this video. And I'll see you in another video. Mesdames and messieurs, au revoir.